Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Mm, today um, it's over um, a month now, one one month and a week now for my baby cockatiels, the two that I have. So we're gonna start by preparing our food. Uh, I'm going to start now because they are very hungry. I said let me just keep them um, a little longer for you, so that I'm able to make the video for you and show you how to prepare the food once more again. So. Um, I'm going to use 10 ml of the powder, 10 ml of the powder, which is uh, in here as well. So, as you can hear, they're making a lot of noise because they're very hungry, you know. Okay, okay, I'm going to feed you now. And uh, so now we're going to end up with the water. And I'm going to put in 15 ml. I'm going to put in 15 ml of um, water and we're just going to start the sorry they just they're very hungry you know so we'll start to feed them just now let me just get this mixture up and running and um, I would need to um, check the temperature as well as you can see my consistency is, is a bit thick I'm just going to add a little more water so less than 15 ml of water you know Oh, there you go. Can you see the consistency? So I'm just going to make it a little more thinner than this. Reason being is because when I make it very thick, then they are not, uh, they don't really swallow it very well. And I, I started to read about it to find out, you know, why don't they swallow the food when it is so thick and they don't eat a lot. Uh, so it was advised that I should make the formula a little more thinner. So let's get down to it. I'm going to check the temperature of, this, of the food and then I can get down to feeding them. They started their first flight already and I started to train them uh, on my finger and on flying, sorry, on flying. So if I call them, another thing as well, I have named them. So both of them is named. This one is Kiki and this one is Mew Mew. My little son, he likes he likes Kiki and Mew Mew, so we, we name them after that. As you can see, it's, it's uh, 38. So I do stir. I always tell you that to make sure that you stir your food properly. Uh, reason being is because we don't want any hot spots within the food, so it might burn their crops. Um, it's 39 now, so I'm gonna start feeding them. And let me get this out of the way. Let me get this out of the way and let's get feeding with them. So I'm using the same syringe. Uh, I did add an attachment to it, but uh, the reason is I've taken the attachment out because they, they don't really like it. So... So... We need to get them in order. They're, they're very hungry. Okay, babies. Okay, okay. Kiki, Mew Mew. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So, what I've noticed also, like, um, with my two cockatiels is that I'm able to make out, you know, which is the girl and which is the boy. So, Kiki is a girl. This is Kiki here, the black one. And Mew Mew is the yellow one, which is the boy. Uh, I've made out, you know, like with the color and the way she behaves. So that's how I made out that she was a girl and that he was a boy because their behavior, you know, it, it tells if if you pay attention to them a lot, it will tell you a lot about the birds, you know. You can make out if it's a girl or if it's a boy. As you can see, I'm not trying to rush it but i'm trying to feed them both at the same time else they will as you can see now they are they are least of fighting for the food because you know that their the tummies are getting full so as you can see so they are least fighting for the food now because you know they've already had this is now 10 l 10 ml that i fed them so we'll go a little bit more and see how it will work for them. But uh, I explained to you in the video as well, 5 ml is enough, you know, for each of the birds, 5 ml each. 
um, but uh, he's a little, they're a little bit hungry right now so I will just go a little bit more than you know five each and um, we will see from there I'm gonna feed them a little water and then just uh, clean their mouth uh, before I was making a lot of mess you know around the face and the mouth um, so that also you know I went on the internet and I started to search up you know at this age you know how am I able to hold them you know even if they you know like because they with the food and stuff like that it's very difficult you know to feed them so I put some water in here let me just okay and give her a little bit of him a little bit of water okay mm -hmm. I'm gonna give them just a little bit more of water um, because early on I did train them and um, they were very thirsty when I fed them. They didn't want to eat a lot, but they were very thirsty. Okay, so now we're going to give it up to this, and I'm going to just clean her because she's having a bit of she has hiccups a bit because she was hungry. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna just clean clean their faces up since I've already given them water. You know, get them cleaned up. And like usually when I do feed them, they would, um, you know, go to sleep. They usually would just start resting and, and, you know, go to sleep. So this is, the, you know, a wet cloth I use. And I just try to clean her, their beak up so that there's nothing on the beak, you know. Um, and nothing on the feathers as well. So that's one, one month and a week for my two. And I've already named them. So this one is Kiki and this one is Mew Mew um okay guys so now i would like to introduce you we have more um baby cockatiels that uh, have hatched and they've all hatched within the weekend so they're just a couple of days you know maybe uh two to two to three days and uh, i'm just going to take them out in order and you are able to see okay uh so that's it so during the weekend we had um the, this one was the first one that was born and then just after that but just few minutes after that the, the next one was born and then the next day um the other one was born and uh this little one if you know um the problem is if you if you look at all of them you know they're kind of they, they're big enough you know she's very small um she couldn't come up from her shell I tried to, you know, I had to try and break the shell and, you know, using, you know, precautions, I just made sure that I didn't hurt the chick as well while removing the shell and uh, that's what I've done. I've removed the shell and uh, I've taken her out so she's fine. Uh, this is her second day coming now and she's perfectly fine. Uh, let's see now. Now I'm going to prepare the food for them, uh, for the babies and um, for them I'm going to make it slightly weaker. Than what I feel, than what I feed Kiki and Mimiu, and uh, so I'm not gonna dispose of the the food that I've made for Kiki and Mimiu. So this is the food that you know I just added a little more water to it. You can see the consistency, and um, I'm gonna put that in a syringe, and then I'm gonna have a bowl of hot water, which I'm gonna put the syringe into that bowl of hot water just to keep the formula. Um, at a certain temperature which I'm able to feed the chicks and it doesn't get cold very fast so I'm just gonna do that right now and uh, then we can start feeding them we start again from from day two now day two with them or three I would say but uh, day two mostly for all of them and um, let's start up as you can see now they are all also hungry so let's get that out of the way and let me just put a new a new piece of tissue here a new piece of tissue here and get them out one by one according to the way that they were you know they were born so this was the first one that was born this is the first one that was born and then i'm just gonna put it over like this because you know kiki is jumping over she, she she's you know she's, she's quite surprised that she's seeing something you know uh so now we start and you know healthy baby so <laughs> no kiki no mew mew you've already eaten 
Okay, so we're gonna speed this one here. As you can see, I'm just gonna come a bit closer to the camera um, because Kiki and Mimi won't let me feed feed her if they want food. They look like they're still hungry. So uh, I'm gonna try after I finish with them that I will try and feed Kiki and Mimi again. Uh, as you can see, the um, crop is is getting nice. It, they, it does fill up with air, but eventually the air comes off out when I leave her down. You know, I did use the technique of you know uh, slightly giving a massage to the um, to the crop, you know, in a circular position. But um, I've noticed that if I leave them, you know, down, they um, they kind of work it out themselves. You know, it comes out themselves. So I just give her a little bit of a break. I just give a little. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> She's after everything. Okay, so let's take her after a while. Let's just show you. Can you see the air has has escaped? So, as you can see, that you know the, the baby's fine and he's very active. Uh, so this is about two days, uh, baby. Uh, what I'm gonna do now? I'm just gonna put it back. I'm gonna start cleaning their boxes one by one. But the reason I'm gonna just keep them on one side is because. Kiki and Mimi won't leave them. They're finding it's, it's there's something for them to play with. Okay, so this is the second one that was born. And um, I'm going to try and hold her in my hand. And so this is, I, I just tap, you know, on the side of the beak and then I just try to put food first. And then I will continue at a drop at a time because I'm controlling it with, you know, my finger that how much I'm giving her. So it's a drop at a so it's a drop at a time and um, always making sure that from the left side you know going towards the right side but as you can see there's like a slight gap here so this is where they usually intake food from so make sure that you are giving it in the right way left side on the left side you know a drop at a time uh, don't rush it you know i'm just doing it a drop at a time uh, like i said to you in the video that i am doing it a drop at a time and i can control it with my finger uh, i'm aware of you know when to stop and uh, but if you are first time please just take it easy remove it like this if you feel you don't have control over your hand and keep feeding baby and remove it like this and give a little bit break and you know continue um, as this is the second day for them, uh, they seem to eat quite well, so I don't seem to have a problem with feeding them, you know. Um, you know, it's, it's easy because you can learn, and uh, if you just follow everything, you know, it, it'll work perfectly for you. You have, to, you have to learn, you know, how to feed them and, you know, the precautions you need to take. So, this is the next one can see you know her crop is there there's no air um, I, I said to you before also I used to massage it you know in a circular position but now I don't do it anymore because I leave them a little bit out and I allow them to to work it out themselves which is also good and it, it's healthy as well because then at least you know you won't have this fear that you're gonna hurt the chicken anyway or if, you know if you're not uh, too good with with handling of the chick uh, so there's a third one that this is the third one okay and uh, same here left side start I will give her a bit of a taste first okay she seems to be fine so that's when I continue going in and I feed so her crop will start getting full now as you can see before I started to feed them the crop was completely empty so now it's you know they're getting a bit full now as you can see the crop is getting a bit full now so start again can you hear the noise of, of him swallowing the food so they the these ones they're quite healthy they all are in fact quite healthy uh, it was just the last one that was born that I felt you know just needed help coming out from the shell I think the shell was very hard but he also seems very weak as well so this is the next one so I just show you you know that you are you can see you can see the crop you know I don't overfill the crops as well um, he is hungry I do feed them a little more than this but uh, usually this is what I feed you know let me just give him a little bit more and see how he he takes it up him because he's fine with it he's okay um, he seems to eat a, a, a full crop so 
um, air don't worry about it if you are able to leave them and let them wrestle around the floor eh, the air bubble will come out so you don't have to stress about that but if there's an issue if there's a problem then I would suggest that you read more about it you know and um, massage it out uh, but usually they they do it themselves you know you don't really need to do it for them so that's the third one okay now we're gonna go to the last one to the last baby one and this was the same one I explained to you that he's a bit weak like that's what I gathered since he couldn't come out from his um, shell as you can see can he, his body is so free to compare to the others and uh, so we're just gonna try, I'm gonna try and feed him again he is active and, and he does eat I don't have a problem feeding him you know let me, let me put baby on the side okay so um, I'm just gonna try and bring it closer a bit to the camera so that you're able to see um, baby's fine baby's is okay you know he had his few first few meals before so we're gonna try again and let's see how baby intakes it okay so he seems to be okay he's taking it in so again um, one drop at a time I'm doing I'm controlling it with my fingers so that I know that I'm not you know filling his food with food so that he's able to get choked so one drop at a time you know give him time give him a little time to to take a break or breathe not too long i'll tell you why because uh, if you give him too long then you know air bubbles start to form um, inside that's the reason why air bubbles form is when you give them too long of a gap then the air bubbles form within the crop um it's not difficult to take it out i explained to you in the video if you you know follow the instructions you are perfectly fine you are okay so um let's get back here and, and, and let's see so this this was the last one that was born and he is a bit weak as you can see you know to compare to the other birds but he's he's fine he's eating and he's okay so if he's okay and he's eating he's he's fine you just keep monitoring him all the time you know so now i have four new baby uh, cockatiels and um as you can see the food is um the food that i have prepared is slightly weaker okay slightly weaker than the other ones so uh, and the ones i prepare for kiki and mew 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 no baby no baby okay no baby no no mew 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 no 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 mew mew stop uh so this is the family now and um okay so what i'm gonna do now i think so let me make a little more uh, you know formula for uh kiki and mew mew because they seem to be hungry they eat a little lecture from the other let me just try and feed them this and see okay. she they, she is hungry Hmm? Yeah, so. Uh, so I I told you like the syringe I keep into a hot you know uh, container of water so that the formula inside doesn't get cold. So you know the the temperature uh, is okay for for them to eat. Uh, let's see. Okay. Is that it now? Are we done? Yeah? No, we have to finish now. We have to finish now, okay? Yeah? And um, I already started with them, you know, uh, the... Um, what was this thing called? The millets. So they do eat millets and I do take vegetable and rice and, you know, I boil them together and I've... Um, I've given them. So they did eat. They did eat. They do eat, sorry. They do eat and... Um, <laughs> so so this is it now for for me and my cockatiels and this is no no mew mew so mew mew seems to be you know exploring uh the new chicks so he thinks you know it's it's something there but he doesn't realize that he was also once that small so um that's it for the video and thank you so much guys please like and subscribe to my video and uh, please leave your comments and uh, 
yeah you can you know give me the something anything i've done wrong in the video anything like this you can comment me and tell me you know uh, i appreciate uh, people's comments and please like and subscribe thank you